semicircle and played healing songs. Tribal elders lit sweet grass, cedar, sage, and tobacco, which filled the gym with smoke, which is usually called saging. The practice of burning sage is called smudging. Smudging can be done using most commonly sage. However, this ceremony is done with cedar, sweet grass, and tobacco, which are the four sacred plants that are burned. The purpose is for spiritual cleansing. Plant leaves or stems are put into a container that is lit with a match. A wooden match is preferred, and after being lit, the flames are blown out, and the wafting smoke is blown over the person while simultaneously waving your hand or eagle feather over the smoke. The person being cleansed inhales the smoke, which cleanses the mind and soul. Bundles of sage were burned during the funeral ceremonies that followed, and many different personal items were placed inside caskets. Gigawabman, Gigawabman. And that, and then there's loosely it's translated as, um, "I'll be good to see you again." Lee's mom still resides in different assisted living centers. She needs a cane for walking and regularly attends church. Police later seized about thirty drawing pads and three computer hard drives. Although such evidence was not really necessary for prosecution. But what went wrong? Could this tragedy have been prevented? We can never really know. While Lee lived through many traumatic experiences and seemed to suffer some mental health issues, he clearly had a family that loved and cared for him. Yet, his anger seemed to escalate very quickly. But he told at least one other person of his plans. This means maybe he told more. As a society, we should never discount when someone openly talks about committing such horrible crimes. We should keep our eyes and ears open, be a friend, reach out, and show up. And please, if you see something that seems off, say something. You never know how many lives you may be saving. Thank you for listening to today's episode. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Active Shooter, the podcast. Remember, if you see something, say something. There's no telling how many lives you may be saving. A huge thank you to Darren Curtis, who composed some of the music used in this episode. Check him out at darrencurtismusic.com. D A R R E N C U R T I S music.com Active shooter reports of an active shooter active shooter active shooter in mass casualty incidents Make sure to check us out on social media we have a discussion group on Facebook just search for active shooter the podcast discussion group you can also find us on Instagram at active the podcast and Twitter at podcast active for just one dollar a month you can get access to ad free episodes early release episodes when available and a shout out on the show just go to patreon.com forward slash active podcast thank you and be safe